plans have evolved a lot. Okay? The regulator have been asking more and less. They've been asking more data, more granular data, more details. We moved from position to transaction to cash flows. We, they have also asked more frequency. We moved from annually to quarterly to monthly to daily and even intraday in some time. They've also asked more calculation, more complex scenarios, more what-if analysis, more complex processing and they've also asked for more transparency. They are not asking only the data but they're asking how you get it and where it is coming from. In the other side we have some less. So it is less silo. So it is no more only risk, only finance, only ops. They're asking requirement across departments, across team and also across jurisdiction. You may have to report in US something that's happening in Singapore or vice versa. And also they are probably less time to do it. As an example, we can present the new regulation in Singapore, the MAS 6 610. The 610 is the flagship report from the MAS. They haven't changed it for 10 years and now they are planning to revamp it. We are moving from 5,000 data points to about 300 data points. It's not only volume question, but it's also about data coming from different departments. It's no more only finance department involved, it's also the HR, the legal, the operation department. And also it's across jurisdiction. You may have to report in Singapore something that happened in London that you don't even have in your system. And they ask it on a monthly basis. So they ask you to report a month on a monthly basis something that you don't even do on a yearly basis. So it's a very big challenge for the banks in terms of technology, in terms of operation. So the only way to solve it is through more technology and more automation. Let's try to take a step back and understand what is a compliance process. So the compliance process in terms of processing have four steps. First, it's to take data out of the operational system, then it's to transform it, then you have some calculation process, and then you have the reporting. So this could be four different systems. And sometimes it's not even system, it can be Excel, Access, Manual Process. Up to now, we've only looked at the data flow, how data was moving from one side to the other side to the final side. The IT was focusing on the data. Now there is a, a complex paradigm sh shift where we're not only looking at data, but also the logic, how data have been moved forward. The regulator is not only asking the data, but asking how. So we have to take a very really different approach. The approach that we took is to consider the logic and the processing as being an input. With data and logic behave the same. They can change and they can be reported. This approach of considering the business logic as an input of, a, of the process is one of the only way to solve this problem in a high level and scalable approach. It's definitely an issue because this project needs people with different skills. You need to find people who understand the financial product, understand the regulation and understand the technology. And you don't get this type of profile directly out of university. So most of the time it's people with experience. And the tendency can be that these people get very specialized. You get someone who knows very well the liquidity in Japan. And then if you need to do another project, you need to hire someone else. And that makes also the team less efficient. Uh, the approach that makes the talent management efficient, and some of the banks are trying to take this approach, is to get global regulatory project team, which can be reused across project and then can reuse the tools. So you don't have to train them to a liquidity solution in Japan, to a capital solution in Malaysia, or to a regulatory solution in China. The fact that they can have a unified platform across regulation and across jurisdiction make the team more efficient and also let the talents to be focused on high level tasks. So you need less people and also you get more interesting job to attract them. So you have three aspects on the regulatory product. You have the financial product, you have the tools that you use and you have the regulation. So if you get someone who knows at least the two first one, it's much easier to just adapt him to the last one, the regulation. If you have a different tools everywhere, he has to learn two things. In that case, he just has to learn one thing. So it's much faster to get him up to speed.